Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, in today's video, we are going to uh, talk about a complete automotive HVAC system. This is a, uh, a primer uh, video. Uh, for those of you who uh, don't know much about our air conditioning, uh, automotive air conditioning systems, and what we're going to do here is explain uh, the uh, general layout of an HVAC system for automobiles and how, they, how it works. As you can see on screen, uh, this is uh, uh, a complete uh, automotive HVAC system, uh, more or less with uh, the computer, the ECM, uh, the AC head, which is the AC computer, uh, that's how it's called, uh, and the main relay that actuates the uh, uh, compressor clutch. You can also see the uh, uh, the sensors, the high pressure and low pressure sensors, uh, the condenser, uh, and the evaporator. Now on screen, uh, you can see uh, in this uh, in this layout in black and white. Uh, pretty much all the components, and this is 99, probably 100% of all automotive uh, air conditioning systems use uh, this layout here, unless you're talking about uh, the hybrids, uh, which uh, have uh, an electric uh, compressor. So it's not, it's pretty much the same, but it's, it's electric. It's, it doesn't have a uh, compressor clutch. It has a motor inside. Anyhow, so here you see the compressor. Uh, which is actuated, uh, the clutch itself is actuated by uh, a 12-volt relay. Uh, the relay itself is actuated by the ECM, always, okay? Now the AC head, which is the um, computer for the air conditioning, the HVAC system, uh, commands uh, actuation to the ECM, and the ECM makes the determination according to its software uh, to actuate the compressor or not. Uh, of course, uh, the uh, main fuse for the for this relay, it's in the fuse block, has nothing to do with the ACM itself, uh, but the actual uh, uh, relay trigger wire comes from the ECM itself, so the relay is actuated by the ECM. Now, this is important because understand that the AC compressor is not um, uh, commanded, it's not actuated. Uh, by the AC computer. A lot, lots of technicians make the, uh, the mistake of thinking the first thing they go for, if they don't see actuation to the relay, they go into the AC computer and they think it's the AC, they replace the AC computer and, and that's not it. It's actuated by the ECM, always. There's no, that's just, just the way it is. Here in this next layout, uh, you can see the actual, uh, the passage of the uh, refrigerant throughout the whole system. It, it's, it is pumped uh, by the compressor. Uh, it goes into the evaporator, um, I'm sorry, into the condenser, which itself goes into the re um, refrigerant liquid uh, uh, receiver dryer, which is more like a fi filter. After that, it goes through the uh, orifice tube or the expansion valve, and it turns into a, um, uh, into a gas. Uh, once that happens, then it gets very cold, and it goes to the evaporator, and that's what cools the uh, that's what cools the air. Now, this is what the expansion valve looks like. There, there are two main uh, expansion valves. One is this one here that you see, which is uh, made out of brass, and then there's the other one, which is found on most uh, imports, especially the European ones, which is this uh, uh, the rectangular block, and this size. Uh, commonly referred to as the uh, uh, as the block. Now they both do the same thing, okay? They both do the same thing, which is pretty much turns the liquid refrigerant into a gas. That's what the expansion valve. Now some of these guys are, um, they're uh, electro electrical. It's, this, uh, it's a stepper motor. We have other videos uh, in our channel here that actually explain the operation of the uh, electronic or electrical uh, expansion valves. Now this is what the expansion valve does. Uh, it works pretty much, the analogy would be uh, a water hose with a nozzle uh, uh, in, in front of it. Pretty much when you regulate that nozzle, you can actually see a mist coming out of, of water 
coming out on the, uh, out of the, the nozzle. That's exactly what the expansion valve does. And then on the, you know that mist, which is now a gas, is the one that goes into the evaporator. As you can see here, the the that's what it uh, you know you have liquid on one side of the expansion valve and the other side. Uh, in this expanded blue uh, layout, you can see that it's a gas. And that goes into the evaporator, which is the one that has air going through it. It's like a little radiator inside the dash. And that's what actually cools the air. That um, uh, change from a liquid to a gas inside the uh, expansion valve to the evaporator and uh, cooling down that radiator, which is called the evaporator, and that's what cools the air. Now on screen, you can see a typical um, uh, AC compressor. These things come in many different types. Uh, some of these air compressors have what's called a variable displacement. Those are hard to diagnose them, and we have other videos uh, for variable displacement compressors. Uh, but basically, they all work the same. Their, their, um, their purpose is to uh, compress the, the uh, liquid refrigerant, uh, also called Freon in the old days. And uh, so that this compressor, as you can see in this uh, next layout in black and white, uh, it's pretty much, I'm not going to say the heart of the system, but this is what compresses the liquid uh, refrigerant. You understand that it's a liquid. W when it goes, the compressor gets, uh, receives uh, uh, the line. The, the, you have two lines, a thicker one and, and a uh, thinner one. The thinner one is uh, the one that's coming from the... Uh, um, from the um, condenser, which is uh, liquid, and it actually turns into uh, into compressed uh, on the other side, and it, this is the one that goes into the expansion valve. Uh, and on screen again, we have the evaporator, you have the dryer, which is the little bottle that you see there, which is what it, it is a filter. Uh, you have the high uh, 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 pressure sensor, the low pressure sensor. All these things work in conjunction uh, with the AC head or the uh, and I understand that the high pressure and low pressure sensors always go to the head to the AC head to the AC computer not to the ECM okay and the ECM uh, the AC head tells the ECM to turn on the compressor and is but the compressor itself is connected to the ECM itself as as we've explained before again uh, uh, we're showing you the uh, whole layout of the whole system I don't think there's much more to say about the, this particular um, unit, uh, the, the system, which uh, is pretty much uh, understand what's connected to what and what actuates what, which is, uh, it's important to understand that when you're tracing a problem, uh, for example, you know, say it's not, the AC compressor is not being actuated, what is it? Is it the wire? Is it the ECM? Or is it the AC head not commanding the compressor on? Uh, again, so uh, anyhow, we'd like to thank you for tuning into our channel, ADP Training, uh, and uh, going to our website, um, autodiagnosticsonpublishing.com. We have lots of stuff in there uh, from our, our books and videos and software uh, to uh, we actually design and, and manufacture our own equipment, uh, which is good for this and many other uh, issues uh, relating to automotive diagnostics. Anyway, thank you for tuning into our channel. At the, end of, at the beginning and the end of the video, you're going to see, so you, uh, you can actually uh, donate. Uh, if you want to donate to this channel, uh, we really appreciate it. It keeps, us, uh, keeps this channel open. And we've had this channel since the beginning of YouTube. Uh, way back in 2007. So anyhow, we'd like to thank you, uh, thank you for tuning into our channel and uh, thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on-hands video, and how-to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web.
At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.